15 texting signs he is not actually interested. Do you wonder what texts a guy might send you that say he is not into you? Do you want to know what you should text back to him in these situations to see if he wants to move things forward with you? We are getting back to the texting habits of men and how you could potentially be wasting a lot of time on guys who are just stringing you along and with guys who have no intention of pursuing anything with you at all. So in this video, we are going to show you 15 texting signs that indicate he's not actually interested. Pay close attention because you don't want to miss anything. Welcome to a new video from the Social Psychology Masters YouTube channel. If you're new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos. And comment down below, I subscribed, and let us welcome you, let's start. Number 1. He never texts you first. He never really texts you first. That's a great indicator that he's not interested in you. He obviously has other people he would much rather talk to. It's either that or he is just not a cell phone guy in particular. Either way, it's not a good sign for you at all. Number 2. He responds to your questions but never asks any in return. One big sign that he's not interested is if he just doesn't want to get to know you at all. It's very obvious that he doesn't really care much for you if he doesn't ask you any questions about your life. If you're always the one who's asking questions, then chances are that you're the only one who's interested. Number 3. He takes hours to respond. Sometimes, he doesn't even respond at all. Okay? Sometimes, a man isn't going to be on his phone. He might be busy. He might be trying to focus on his work or something. He might be in a meeting. Whatever. It's okay if he doesn't reply to you right away sometimes. But if he just never replies to you right away, then you should know something is off. Number 4. He doesn't get into deep conversations with you. He always tries to make sure that things stay on the surface level. He doesn't really try to get deep with you about anything. He doesn't talk to you about his thoughts, opinions, feelings, and emotions. He is always just willing to talk about the simple stuff, the stuff that no one ever really cares about. He's all about the small talk whenever he texts with you. Number 5. You can feel something is off. Most girls can actually feel when something is not going very well in their relationship and their gut is right most of the time. As I also mentioned at the beginning of the video, we are intuitive beings. We take, read, and process signs from one another all the time. Your intuition is telling you something, and it is most likely correct. Number 6. He uses his work as an excuse. There is a chance that he is really busy with work. However, this should be taken into consideration once they keep repeating it over and over. It is a good sign if when he doesn't text you for a long time, he lets you know the reasons, but if you're the one asking him and he hits you with yes, I'm busy with work, take it as a sign. If you're in doubt and don't feel very certain about what to do, then be straight and forward and ask him. It is better than waiting for texts, looking carefully for signs, and by the end of the day, still being confused. Ask him. Number 7. He doesn't text like he used to do before. Earlier, before, he used to be very engaged in the conversation, jokes, questions, and whatnot. Now you just saw the downfall without any warning. If this is the case for you, chances are he's not interested. However, this one also gets confused with when men get scared of their feelings and try to take their time to get control of them or overcome them. There are various reasons why a man just stops engaging. However, one of them could be that he's not interested. Number 8. He doesn't show a sense of consistency with texting you. He doesn't really exhibit any kind of consistency when it comes to texting you. There are days when he will be really fun to text with. And then there are also some days when you would be lucky to get even a single reply from him. Inconsistency is a very positive indicator of disinterest. That's why you need to stay vigilant. Number 9. He's always texting you right when you're about to move on. There's this crush that you see around regularly, and you enjoy each other's company when you're out with friends, but you've never hung out one-on-one. -on -one. After a nice chill session, they always text you to compliment you and say they'd love to get together, but they never follow through. Actually, they disappear off the face of the earth. And just when you're totally ready to write them off, they text you out of the blue, like nothing ever happened. What it means is that even though you and your crush clearly get along, if they keep ghosting you and then resurfacing ages later, they're stringing you along. 
They're not interested in being in a relationship with you, but they also don't want you to be with anyone else. So they give you just enough hope to keep you intrigued. Number 10. He never asks to meet up in person. If the only time that the two of you ever talk is through text, then you know that he isn't into you. Granted, it's a special case for couples who are just too far apart and are incapable of meeting one another physically. But if he's the kind of guy who is just content with texting you all the time but never talks to you in person, then he's just not that interested. Number 11. He ghosts you and then texts you to come over. You've been texting your crush and he's made it seem like he is down to hang out, but when you try to nail down an actual time and place, they leave you on read. Then, out of nowhere, they text you late at night to stop by their place and chill. What it means, this guy is stringing you along. He may be attracted to you, but he is clearly not interested enough to put effort into seeing you, so you definitely need to lose his number. Number 12. He never shares things with you. For example, he doesn't share things like how his day went or just general things going on in his life. I am not saying there have to be details of every single thing. It can be anything. When he cares, he will feel like sharing things with you and even asking for your opinion on certain things. It means he values you and your opinions. Number 13. One word answers. You're really into this guy, and when you meet up, you always end up having a nice time. So you try to text him with the wittiest, funniest jokes every once in a while to show him that he's on your mind. But he's always responding super late with one word answers. What it means, this is exceptionally confusing because the words haha and lol seem like positive reactions. But if he isn't carrying his share of the conversation and is instead placating you with a bunch of emojis, he's actually just being lazy. It may mean he's not interested in pursuing anything with you, and that's okay. There are so many other humans to flirt with if this guy doesn't see what a catch you are. Number 14. He constantly responds with memes. You're a funny girl and you love joking around with your crush, but when you are trying to be serious for a change, you've noticed that they tend to respond with memes or gifs to lighten the mood. Being funny is definitely a turn-on, but if your crush is constantly sending you gifs and memes in response to serious texts, it's a sign they probably can't take much seriously. Being able to cheer you up is a major strength and potential, but being understanding and sympathetic is equally important. A man who doesn't really try to go deep into conversations with you, just isn't serious about you. That's why you should really stay wary of the guy who is only sending you a lot of pictures and memes. It means that he's incapable of giving you any real talk about his feelings and emotions. Number 15. He's always talking about sex. In person, your crush is amazing, but when you try to have a real conversation with him over text, somehow, things always seem to turn to sex. What it means, at first, it's flattering when the person you're talking to asks you sexy questions or implies that they're into you that way. But if they can't hold down a legit conversation without getting sexual, he's probably running those lines on every girl in hopes that it'll result in a hookup. Finally, if you still think understanding men is hard, then you should definitely learn how to trigger their hero instinct. The best way to learn about this amazing psychology is by checking out the first link in the description right now. It's a powerful psychology guide that will teach you exactly how to make a man fall in love with you using reverse male psychology. If you have made it this far, do you agree with this list? Is there anything you believe we may have missed? Let us know in the comment section below. To learn more, check out other videos on this channel and the links in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.